Ooh, it's tea time. It's tea time with Mary. Hello, good morning. Welcome back to Tea Parties on the Internet. I am your host, Miss Mary Lou, and welcome back, my tea time fam. It's freaking fantastic to see your smiling faces. Yes. <laughs> hey, friends. I'm really excited. I launched a new series last month and y'all loved it so much. We are back for a another episode of It's Board Games and Bruce. I just have a song for everything in my head. <laughs> That's right, we are back for Board Games and Brews, the series where I pick a board game and pair it with a T here on the channel. Put on your sorting hat and hop into your houses because we are going a little Harry Potter on you this month. So to see what I pair Harry Potter code names with, please keep on watching. But before we hop too far into the episode, if you are not subscribed to the Miss Mary Lou channel already, you will seriously miss the Mayo. Please hit the red subscribe button below and the little notification bell so you know when I upload. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Don't put your wand in your back pocket. Many a good witcher wizard has lost a buttock. <laughs> Our board game today is Harry Potter Codenames from Vlada Schwatil. In this iteration of the Codename series, this version of the board game is built to be strictly cooperative and two-player friendly. Now, you may be familiar with some of the other Codenames games, either a sort of classic version or some of them are picture versions or it's not suitable for work versions. Well, you know what? This is all of them except the not suitable for work version in one game. In the box, you will find multiple stacks of cards. On one side, there is some sort of word or phrase that is relevant to the Harry Potter universe. And on the backs of the cards, there is some sort of film still from the movie that relates to whatever phrase is on the back. You can choose to either play with the word side of the cards all face up or the picture sides of the cards all face up. It'll be all one or the other. So take 25 cards and lay them in five by five rows rows and each player will have a different key card in front of them. On one side, you'll be able to identify Order of the Phoenix members, Ministry members or white spaces, and Death Eaters, the black spaces. Your objective is to get your partner across the table or however many people you're playing with to guess all of the Order of the Phoenix members. Each key is set up five by five in a grid, just like the cards in front of you on the table. So by giving one word clues, you have to connect as many Order of the Phoenix member cards in front of you as possible. Based on the key in front of you, say you have three Phoenix members that are all Hogwarts students. You could give the clue students three to tell how many cards relate to your one word clue. And then the other person, they touch the cards that they believe fits your clue. If they touch an Order of the Phoenix card, whether or not it's a part of your clue, you cannot say. You mark it with a success Order of the Phoenix tile. However, if they guess a white space or a ministry space, you place a little marker, your turn is over, and you move on to the next player's turn. Or if you guess one of the unfortunate Death Eater squares, um, the game is just over, so good luck. Now, the key on your side of the card is going to be different than the key on the other side of the card. As soon as all the Phoenix members are guessed on your side of the card and also your teammate's side of the card, congratulations, you have won the round. What I really, really love about the Harry Potter version of this game, other than the fact that it's Harry Potter, because like, I mean, duh, is that this is built to be cooperative. In other versions of Codenames that I have played, it is strictly competitive, which like is fun, but I love being on the same team as the people that I'm playing with, working towards a common goal. And because it is cooperative, this is a two player 
player-friendly game. There is even an adventure log, so if you are playing consistently with other people, you can slowly make your way through different parts of London, Hogwarts, and even the Ministry of Magic. It's really, really fun. The beauty of the Codenames games is it forces you to make connections through seemingly random cards just dealt out onto a board. Harry Potter Codenames is magical, whimsical, and a bit unexpected, much like our tea for today. Phoenix from T Spectral. Smoldering oolong is uplifted with florals, citrus, and lemongrass. This brew is called Phoenix. So like Phoenix, Harry Potter. Duh. <laughs> Fox the Phoenix, of course, is a beautiful, beautiful. And he's a bird and he belongs to Dumbledore. And I probably don't need to tell you this. I mean, this does not spontaneously combust into flames at the end of its life only to return to a tiny egg but this tea okay first of all it's like it's orange in color it's a smoldering oolong it's so good it's got a balance of a lot of different kinds of citrus notes in it but you have all of those sort of floral kind of notes in it too it's incredibly refreshing rejuvenating magical whimsical and just a little bit surprising so friends, if you are feeling some magical, mystical, high adventure, gather up a group of your friends and work together in Harry Potter code names. And if you feel like accompanying it with a layered, magical, rejuvenating, appropriately orange brew, reach for some Phoenix with your Harry Potter code names. I was just like beyond excited when I thought of this combination because I have not featured Harry Potter code names on my channel. I don't think I own a couple Harry Potter board games and I've never featured any of them on my channel before. What is wrong with me? I don't know. Have you ever played Harry Potter code names or tried Phoenix? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any more ideas for any more board games and brews episodes, please keep them coming in the comments. I'm so excited. Y'all are so freaking smart. If you want to support positive tea parties, I'm going to go ahead and link my Patreon down below. Come on over and become an official wizard with all kinds of wizard perks. And last and most important of all, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you on Thursday for the podcast. It's tea time with Mary. Come on, everybody, sing along. You know the words. Thanks for watching. Tea time with Mary. I hope to see you real soon. If you want to like, subscribe, and comment, uh, I think that would be cool. Check out my Facebook.com slash Tea Time with Mary for all the content that's new. Or my Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter. I'm at Miss Mary Lou. So thanks again for joining us And thanks for being a friend We'll see you next Tuesday The fun never ends on Tea time with Mary That's me Don't put your one in your back pocket If you value your butt <laughs>